Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, there has been a story in the New York Post and I've seen it on other sites as well that Harry and Meghan are not invited to the Tribune of the Colour which is taking place on Saturday coming. Today is the 12th of June 2023 and on Saturday the 17th of June 2023 is the first Tribune of the Colour in His Majesty the King's reign. So. We're going to have a look into that and see a little bit more about this whole situation. First off, we're going to look into the story and see where that's possibly come from. See if there's much truth in that. Was there ever an invite or whatever? And then we're going to look into King Charles feels about the story, William, and then, of course, Harry. So stick around. Um, I should list the questions that we're going through on the... I don't know what side of the screen it would you would be looking at. It would be your left side of the screen. So just down from those tarot cords in the corner, there's questions that we're going to be tackling with the tarot. Um, so yeah, let's let's begin. So we're using the Crystal Visions tarot. So the overview of the situation, the overview of the story. Let's have a look. Let's have a look and see. overview of the story were they ever invited let's have a look page of pentacles well they don't have archie's birthday to go and say that they they weren't coming because of that anymore the page of pentacles in reverse of course could be talking about a a child let's say that is a Taurus or another earth sign like Virgo or Capricorn however this could also be that character's immature behavior so that would match with Harry or it also can mean as well it can mean spend spending too much being a little bit reckless with the cash, say, making immature decisions. But I feel like, especially when we're talking about Harry and Meghan and Archie. Now, in my mind, and I'm going to do further reading on Archie, I don't think he's a Taurus. I think it's the energy we're allowed to know. I think it's what we can see, but I don't think he would be a Taurus. I think he is an Aries to be honest with you. Let's have a look and see what's crossing over with regard to the situation. The Emperor in reverse. I don't think the King wanted them to come. Not an, even a little bit. Some he is blocking, blocking it. Six of Wands, very fitting for Tripping of the Color. They want it to be a good day, they want it to be a fantastic day. They want the glory. It's very, very much like a warrior coming in and celebrating a victory. It's very much, it's a show of military pride. I mean, Trooping of the Colour dates, Trooping the Colour even, dates back to the 1700s. Um, it was a way of, started off formally honouring the king's birthday at that time. And it's went on, obviously, for monarchs, various monarchs have kept the tradition up. Eight of Wands in reverse there. We're going to be hearing a fair bit this week, I feel. With the Six of Wands above, hmm, there's going to be a lot of the Hierophant in reverse. I don't think they want anything to do with them at all. Anything to do with... This story's... This story's annoyed the king, crossing over. We have king of pentacles surrounding and we have the seven of pentacles not taking the itinerary. I feel, so far, I feel like this 
the story, this, this, these puff pieces, this is just another tactic from overseas that they are using to keep their name in the press, keep their name linked to monarchy. Yeah, they want their name linked in. Interesting. We have the Hierophant in reverse and the Emperor crossing over, and they're very big monarchy cards. <clears throat> the Hierophant, of course, meaning um, institutions, like it can be the institution of monarchy, the institution of government, the institution of military, learning establishments as well. And with the Emperor crossing over, I do feel like this is like, when I'm doing a Royal Tower reading, King Charles would come through as the Emperor. I honestly feel like this is a lot of noise. We have got the King of Pentacles crossing over. This is a positive thing he wants in. He's He is a little bit... They're not as flush as they like to make out. We have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. There's a lot of not being able to take stock and do the books as well as they want it to be done, which sounds really weird. These people overseas should be very rich, if you believe everything um, that they say. So I doubt it. Strength card, they don't want to come across as being weakened. They still want that noise and everything being associated with monarchies. So they are basically saying that will they, won't they come. And I feel like this is a source... close to Harry and Meghan we do have the over we do have three of pentacles not working with other people and the three of wands there I feel like there's going to be more of an attack towards the end of the year it's definitely around things about it let's have a look and see how the king feels about this about this story I'm using the grand lux tarot for this so let's see overview i'm instantly thinking how does the king feel about his story is he even bothered by it ten of cups is just nah. he is just quite content to be honest with you that's the energy i've been getting when i've been doing readings around king charles he seems quite content he wants to seem balanced and fair and he's worried i suppose one of his worries is he doesn't want anyone necessarily rocking the boat on all of the good stuff that the monarchy have been doing the eight of cups why don't they just walk away why don't they why are they still why are they still going at it? The Knight of Cups underneath in reverse. That's interesting. This could be William being more upset by it. I don't know. I don't I, probably. I think I think he's thinking these stories are coming from somewhere and somebody is the Knight of Cups, of course. It res resonates with the astrological signs of the astrological water signs, so Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer. However, it can also show that somebody is very reliant on substances to lighten the mood. So he's, th is this the king saying he's a bit concerned about? somebody admitting all of those substance uses he thinks i really think he's just went oh he's got a little bit of an adult's brain when thinking about his younger son the emperor in reverse and the page of swords in reverse He's cons this is interesting because Lilibet is meant to be a Gemini, so she would come through as swords. Now, the Emperor in reverse, he has made decisions on this. He is annoyed, I feel. 
annoyed by his son's behavior. We have the emperor crossing over this. I feel like he didn't want them to come. He doesn't want them to come. He doesn't want them to land up on these shores. The Six of Wands, what he's worried about is stories like this. And there's the Three of Coins detracting from um, that Six of Wands energy. He's he's a little, he is a little bit concerned with it. And there we have got the Three of Coins, people not working together. Interesting. Not working. I don't, I think he's just done with them the, with the three of with the six of wands there i do think that he is thinking they may well just be seeking glory or trying to attach themselves to glory it's just almost like he's like yeah you're social climbing man knight of knight of swords there a lot of protection a lot of military um a lot of people who will possibly be within the security services protection. So he's thinking about this. He's thinking about the armed services. He's thinking about the police. He's thinking about things like that. I do think he's just like, yep. Yeah. I wonder why. I hope there hasn't been a security scare. And there's two of swords weighing something up. I think he expects some noise from Monty CO. I think he really does. I don't think he's daft at all. He's a very clever man. And he's not in a weakened position, I don't see. We have the Emperor in reverse. I really feel like he's just biding his time for something. He really is biding his time. He knows there's going to be bad chatter. Now, Lilibet. I think Lilibet could well be a Taurus, to be honest with you. I don't think they've given out the correct dates of birth. I think they're trying to throw people off something with that. Allegedly, my conspiracy, whatever. I think King Charles knows now. I know Lady C said that people have been writing to the palace about it. Let's have a look and see what William thinks of that. This story. <laughs> There's the Knight of Cups again. Wow. They really think this has come from somebody who is just... It's interesting because King Charles thinks all of this is coming, stemming from somebody's substance use. It really bothers William. It, it really does bother William's substance use. The Emperor crossing over in reverse again. The king isn't letting them come through, man. Seven of Wands. He feels like... William's not daft. He's like empath. He is an empath. He knows that this is to stab and to get him wound up. This is somebody who is just trying to wind him up somewhat. And then underneath, we have the two of pentacles what's leaving it ten of wands carrying a burden with this ace of wands coming up okay there's the three of cups so he thinks there's a lot of gossip but what's surrounding William is what he's very passionate about as well <clears throat> very passionate he's trying to keep balanced he's trying to keep cool he's trying to just to kind of he's like very grounded very grounded i know he's empathic but he's also like he's very good at rolling with it 
the ace of wands there something is gonna happen it's gonna be a new thing for william i suppose it's his first trip in the color of prince of wales eh? and like he's concerned about children oh wow the world's attention He's very concerned about children. <clears throat> then the children are in reverse. Um, let me just get a clarifier card. Is this William's children or is this... Or is this... Or is this overseas children? The moon in reverse. Yeah, it's overseas. Okay. William, I feel, knows has known this for a longer time than maybe King Charles has been willing to accept this whole story. I feel like William's known for a long time. The stuff with the children. I wasn't expecting that to come out in this reading, to be honest. I expected this to be a lot more punchy. It just shows you the cards can take you different places, man. The moon in reverse, he knows there's a big secret. He knows that this could potentially come out. He's very aware, aware of it. <clears throat> now, pardon me. <clears throat> as far as I can pick up, <clears throat> and as far as I'm aware, the royal family did not know about surrogates. Until after Mexit. I do think they were aware before Lilibet landed on the scene <clears throat> that Archie was arrived by surrogate. Allegedly, of course. Now let's look into Harry. There's the King of Wands under him. Now, the King of Wands, we've done a lot of investigation into this. To be honest, I honestly think I know Darkus Anderson. I know about him. But I really think, <clears throat> I really think Elton is not only bankrolling the, the overseas people, but he is also, he is also bankrolling the court cases and stuff as well. The Wheel of Fortune there, crossing over, chance. Okay. Queen of Swords. This is all about strategy. There's this strategy that you get. Now, this is Harry's energy. Sorry, I should have said. And I'm using the Garbage Fire Kids for Harry's energy. Harry's energy is very fragmented at times. There's a couple of things I think pick up Harry's energy, which is worth noting. One, he is in a narcissistic devaluation, valuation cycle with his missus. Two, he is a narc himself, though probably like, I don't know, like, I know HG2 has got a way of grading them. Um, He's probably like, I know Megan's meant to be a lesser, is it? I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments. But it'd be like a different, it'd be like a one beneath that. I don't think he is completely, yeah. However, he is an arc and he is doing strategy. Poison goes where it's welcome, guys. Five of cups. It's annoying to him. Three of Cups, Gossip and Celebrate. They are trying to hatch a little bit of a plot with this, yeah? Maybe he thinks something went a little bit better and a little bit smoother last week than it actually has.
Eight of Wands. Okay. Ten of Swords. He feels like he's been stabbed in the back. Page of Coins. Two of Cups. He's worried about... I was saying to you about that devaluation stuff. And the Three of Coins. Okay. One of the things I've also mentioned about Harry, he's got this kind of like magical thinking thing going on. He does think he can control others and others' fates by getting involved using, um, I don't know quite what he's doing, but he's doing energy. He's trying to do energy work. And we've picked that up in the cards as well. And I mean energy work as in saying prayers, incantations, whatever. The Five of Cups there, in reverse, is this loss, but it's this self-fulfilling prophecy. He does this to himself, but he's trying, there's so many things, he's a contradiction and an enigma and everything, wrapped up in a ball of kind of narcissism, yet there's lots of things going on with him. He wants to punch, he wants to be this like victim, yet he wants to be the victor, yet he wants to be right and he will twist a narrative to make sure everybody else is wrong and part of their strategy and their strategy changes quite a lot i know it's a lot to get your head around. <laughs> yeah, oh my god He wants to say that he's fine and independent, but also the royal family have done this thing. He also wants to say, like, he always wanted out of the royal family and Meghan enabled it, but he also wants to say at the same time that it didn't have to be like this. We could have still been in the royal family. It's contradictory. And he goes with what? ever soothes him at the time so if William is doing something really well he'll take offense at it or if he feels like he's not getting attention he'll take offense at that it, it's it's a very strained and strange strange headspace to be in like I say William and King Charles the cards there that knight of cups in reverse yeah, I mean, there's only so much you can blame on that, but there's there's potential addictions there as well. I feel for Harry, allegedly my conspiracy, etc. We have the Eight of Wands in reverse, so we're going to be expecting some backwards and forwards, some trying people trying to stir in the pot. There has been an increase in bot bots going about the business as you may have noticed especially on the old twitter i think even on reddit i'm not sure the eight of wands in reverse though it's definitely going to be a build up this week and it's going to be like a lot of people go there's going to be the usual suspects putting their head above the parapet on tv there's going to be the usual suspects saying stuff like megan did nothing wrong blah, 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 blah. British people bad, blah, 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 blah. and but he hasn't got. There's the page of pentacles. He hasn't got Archie to use as an excuse, or Lilibet to use an excuse at this time. They use their children as an excuse all the time. I predicted that. The two of cups there. What he's worried about the most is his romance, his wife. Um, <laughs> and he should be. Because I don't think she will ever be happy. And because she won't be, because she's filling up in a void within herself. Um, because she compares herself to other people all the time. And if you compare yourself to other people all the time, you will never be happy. The three of coins there. The three of coins is basically is looking to work with people and get people to work on him with his agenda. 
he wants to disrupt he's going to have a new way of doing things again the eight of wands in reverse they are very much very much going to try and use the people they've got payroll man i think uncle elton's paying for it i really do i think uncle elton has bought the kool-aid drank the kool-aid whatever the queen of swords above there's a new strategy he is having a temper tantrum. He is, he is aggrieved at himself. He's winding himself up. It's this this loss he feels within himself, this hurt he feels within himself, it's almost like he punches himself in the face and he says, oh, my God, William hit me. It's that kind of thing. So, yeah. Interesting, I feel like, the palace, I feel like William and King Charles know about the kids for sure especially i think they are getting more and more twitchy that something is going to come out with it um because they would seemingly be complicit in that even though i honestly feel that they weren't i feel like with the eight of wands in reverse there's lots of backwards and forwards going on i feel like they are going to be extra bots coming from harry's end of it i feel like the king doesn't want them to come or have much to do with them at all so yeah and harry is obsessed with his marriage to be honest um there's a lot of reasons for that, and I can go into that on a different video for sure. Um, but one of the one of the reasons I would like to point out is he is very obsessed by it because he does not want to be a failure, like he sees his father as being, basically. Um. in that respect however it would be very handy for megan to say the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree when it comes to the the time and say harry did this this and this and she is in fact the incarnation of diana in human form and guided by diana's blah 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 that kind of thing So there's a lot going on, but I like doing these little stories because it sometimes can take us into an insight about the bigger picture. So let me know if there's any stories. It doesn't matter how daft they are. Let me know if you want me to have a look at them in the cards. I appreciate you guys taking your time to hang out with me today. Um, thank you very much for being here. Please like, share, subscribe. It helps my channel out and all of that YouTuber stuff. Um, Take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.